fans welcome back to my channel so today we're sitting down and we are doing my entire eyeshadow palette collection you guys it's a lot of palettes i'm so so sorry in advance if this video is insanely long it might be i just want to preface this video by saying that this is not meant to be braggy in any way whatsoever i just thought it would be fun to sit down and show you literally every single eyeshadow palette that i own some of these i have owned for quite a few years a lot of them i got on sale some of the more expensive ones i've been able to purchase because of you guys and your support on my channel and watching my videos so then i can take the money i earn from youtube and invest it back into my channel and then some of them i have gotten in pr i've been lucky enough to get them in pr so i don't think anyone's gonna take it as braggy but you just never know it's the internet it's the internet you just never know also if you're curious about my nail polish i didn't do the best job you guys i tried to paint my nails for you so you weren't looking at ugly gross nails for like who knows how long this video is going to be but if you're curious it is the what's up beauty this is their uh, matte nail polish in the shade Rhodonite. so i will go ahead and link this for you all right, all right this is going to be probably a really long video so before we get started don't forget to upload every tuesday thursday and saturday for you guys if you like this video while you're watching it please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up it really does help my channel out and other than that if you're excited and you want to see every single eyeshadow palette that i own and <laughs> let's go ahead and get started i literally already just messed my nail up are you kidding me this is why i don't ever paint my nails <laughs> all right so i didn't really know how to organize this besides a brand so i went ahead and did it in alphabetical order i think i had a lot more brands than i was anticipating so i was like writing them down on a piece of paper and trying to like squeeze them in alphabetically so i think they're all alphabetical if i made a mistake i'm so sorry the first one starting off though is adept cosmetics this is the heather austin palette this beauty is just absolutely stunning i'm not going to go into a ton of detail on each palette because again you guys will be here for way too long but this is the first one with the heather austin and adept palette absolutely stunning highly recommend if you've not given it a go yet next up we have Anastasia Beverly Hills the first one I have is the ABH Norvina collection this is their mini pro pigment palette volume 2 just a really cute nice colorful palette I also have the prim rose palette this is one of my favorite palettes ever I truly love it the shimmers are stunning the mattes are beautiful and I actually really enjoy those two blushes that come in it my newest one to me is their nouveau palette again another absolutely stunning palette my most recent one week one palette was on this so I'll have that link down below for you guys to check out in case you missed it but another beautiful one then we have quite a few of their 14 pan palettes that they've had around for a very long time the first one being the Jackie Ina palette palette another absolute favorite then we have soft glam not a favorite i don't use it very much but it is a really beautiful neutral color story the og modern renaissance that pretty much put abh on the map again i really don't use this as much as i should but again another really pretty color story a favorite of mine is the norvina palette this is the original one that kind of kicked off them spurring off the norvino part of their brand love the color story on this one and we have that absolutely gorgeous sultry palette fortunately this one is not available anymore i think abh did a disservice because it's absolutely stunning and last but not least we have the carly bible palette this is actually not a favorite i really don't reach for this very much but that new shade is stunning. Then we have one from this Base Blue Cosmetics. This is the Artistic Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Girl with the Pearl. I've never used this eyeshadow palette, but I think it is absolutely stunning. It's definitely one of the most unique palettes I have in my collection. Very innovative. Next up, we have BH Cosmetics. The first one being the Smitten in Switzerland palette. I absolutely love this. I think it's a really beautiful palette. Love the color story. Then we have the Hanging in Hawaii palette. It's a really nice, pretty, neutral, pinky, orangey sort of color story. We have the fun one here called Avocado Toast. Again, I love BH Cosmetics color stories. I think it's so unique and fun. And speaking of unique and fun, we have Lost in Los Angeles. This really pretty pastel sort of palette with these shimmers are just gorgeous. Then I just have one here from Catrice. This is their five in a box mini eyeshadow palette in the shade soft rose look not a favorite i'm not gonna lie i was not impressed by the quality on this at all i would definitely recommend other drugstore palettes over this one surprisingly i only have one charlotte tilbury palette this is her starry eyes to hypnotize this was her holiday palette a couple years ago absolutely gorgeous palette beautiful formulation i love the shimmers i love the mattes next up we have ColourPop, and i have a ton of these little quads most of them have been sent to me in pr but this one right here is called their beachy keen palette just a really nice super neutral color story then we have this one in cream soda another neutral color story but a little bit more warm toned we have this all matte one called dare to bear i really like the cool tones in this but as you can see i have not even tried this one yet whoopsies we have this one right here in acai 
baby. Just a really pretty purpley sort of quad. Another fun colorful one in the shade Wait and See. These blues are stunning on the eyes. We have this bright, pretty orange one called On the Mango. The quality on this one was top notch. We also have Shell Bound. It's a little bit more subdued than On the Mango, but still orangey and warm toned. The newest one to me is this one called An Emerald Away. I picked this up on sale recently from their website. Haven't gotten a chance to use this one either, but I am excited to try out these greens. Then we have this one right here called Sure Thing, just a really pretty pink tone eyeshadow palette. This one right here is called Sorbet. These two shimmers look really similar to each other, but they are both really pretty. And last of the quads, we have this one right here called Strawberry Sweet. Then we have these three from a recent collection, this one being the Clear the Air. I've only used this once. I wasn't super impressed, but it's pretty. Then we have Clearly in Love. Again, only used this once. Again, not super impressed. And then we have Coast is Clear. I actually haven't used this one. I've only swatched it. All three of these were sent to me in PR. I probably wouldn't have purchased them, but they're pretty. Then we have a few of their more traditional nine pan palettes. The first one being the Uh Huh Honey palette. This is a really pretty, just bright yellow tone palette. I love using this. We have the Star Wars Mandalorian, the Child palette, a really, really pretty color story. I love the greens and golds and neutral tones in here, and these shimmers are stunning. Two that are older that I was not impressed with, the first one being the All Things Equinox palette. I just don't think that the formulation is that good on this one. Same thing for this one, She's Got Solstice. I just wasn't super impressed by it, but it really doesn't matter because neither one of them are available anymore. Then we have this super cute and neutral Going Coconuts palette. This Cocoa Crush shade is the bomb.com. And my absolute favorite, that's Taupe. I'm obsessed with this palette. I already bought a backup for when I'm done with this Python shade. Oh, this is one of my favorite palettes ever. Then we have the All Amethyst palette. I've only used this a couple times. I was impressed by it. I think it's really pretty and I love purple eyeshadow. Not the best quality ever, but still beautiful. And then we have the In the Limelight. I've only used this once and I liked it. I did. Again, not insanely impressed. The mattes weren't as opaque as I thought they were going to be, but this color story is stunning. One I recently received in PR, but I haven't gotten a chance to use is this one right here called On the List. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to use it or if I'm going to give it away because... I just don't really need it. I'm grateful I got it in PR and it's pretty, but it's not a necessity, you know what I mean? Then we have the lovely So Jada palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. I still love this palette. I definitely don't reach for it as much as I should, um, but it's a stunning color story and I just, the quality on this is top notch. And last but not least from ColourPop, we have the Bare Necessities palette. This is such a good neutral go-to palette. It has pretty much every tone you would ever want and need neutral tone wise. And the quality on this is beautiful. So I, I really like this one a lot. Then we have three from M Cosmetics. The first one being this one right here. This is all their Defi Divine Skies eyeshadow palettes. This one is in the shade, oh, can I open it? Venetian Rose. Not my favorite of the three, but I do enjoy it. We also have this one right here called Rodin. I really don't care for this one, if I'm being honest. The mattes got pretty patchy on me, and these three shimmers are just nothing to write home about, sadly. My favorite of the three is this one right here called Magic Hour. Unfortunately, the shimmer is breaking and getting absolutely everywhere, but... The quality on this one is the best of the three in my opinion. Then we have three from Essence, the first one being the bronzed this way. Really cute neutral palette and these are really affordably priced. Then we have Dancing Green, if you wanna dabble into a little bit of color but you don't wanna break the bank. I'm pretty sure these are only $3.99. My least of the favorite is this one right here called My Rose Will Go On. I just wasn't as impressed with the quality of this one. We got one from Flower Beauty. This is their Jungle Lights palette. These shimmers are just absolutely to die for. I definitely want the other one as well. Then we have one from Gimme Glow. This is their Pastel Dreams uh, palette. This is a pastel dream in a palette. I understand why they <laughs> named it that. I just think this is absolutely stunning. The mattes are beautiful. The shimmers are gorgeous. I love this palette. I also have one from Glam Light. This is their wine palette. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't impressed with this. Matt's got really super patchy on me, but the shimmers are really gorgeous and stunning. So I need to give this another go. But when I did try it out, I didn't love it. One here from Half Cake Beauty. This is their Your Eyes Only palette. I definitely think Half Cake Beauty is underrated. The mattes in this are stunning and these shimmers are gorgeous. I love reaching for this on a daily basis. I hope my lighting in this isn't absolutely terrible. I'm sorry if it is. Next up we have Huda Beauty. The first one being their Wild Jaguar palette. I don't love this unfortunately. I think the color story is a little bit all over the place in my personal opinion and some of these shimmers are more toppery but it is pretty. One that is an absolute favorite is the Nude Light Obsessions palette. I'm obsessed with this palette like truly I love every single solitary aspect about it and every time I use it I love my look. Another favorite is the Mercury Retrograde palette. I'm hoping this is still available because this is so stunning. I love the color story and the shimmers in this are beautiful. And then we have Rose Quartz. I definitely like Rose Quartz less than Mercury Retrograde but it's another one that's just like stunning. Like come on look at that. Look at that color story. Oh beautiful. We have this one right here from Jason Wu. This is their Matte Agave 
Flora 9 palette, I believe. This is a good quality if you need an all matte little palette. It's lacking a little bit of diversity in my opinion. I don't think the gradient is that great in my opinion, but it is a good little palette. And I have two from Juvia's Place, the first one being the Nubian 3 Coral Palette. This is a really good versatile palette. You have a ton of different looks that you can make with this color story. It's a good one. I just don't reach for it as much as I should. Then one that's perfect for the upcoming fall months is the Nomad by Juvia's Place. Oh, these mustard yellows and that shimmer is to die for. I love this one. We got one here from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the Nudie Patootie Number no. 2 palette, or just Nudie Number no. 2 palette. This is a really beautiful, underrated, just neutrally toned palette. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but it's a really good one. We got one here from Lawless. This is the baby one. I actually haven't gotten a chance to try this. I just got this in PR through Ipsy. The Ipsy Glam Bag X, I believe is what it's called. I'm excited to dabble into Lawless eyeshadows, though. I've heard good things. Then we have this one right here from Lunar Beauty, the Eternal Eclipse palette. This is definitely not a color story that I reach for very often, unfortunately. However, when I do reach for it, Woo, it's beautiful. The mattes blend beautifully and these shimmers are stunning. One here from Makeup by Mario. This is his Master Mattes palette. This is definitely a better gradient than the Jason Wu one. I definitely recommend this one over the Jason Wu, but the other one's way cheaper. So it's whatever you want to decide, but I reach for this one more. I love this palette. And then we got one from Morphe, the good old Jaclyn Hill palette, her original palette that released a couple years ago. I just can't seem to get rid of this one quite yet. Then we have the Nabla side-by-side -side palette. I wanted this palette for a really long time and I picked it up on sale, but I'm not going to lie, I don't reach for it as much as I thought I would. The shimmers are a little bit more toppery than I anticipated and the color story, I don't know. I just, I need to reach for this more, but I'm a little bummed by it. I wouldn't repurchase it if I had the chance. Then we have Natasha Denona and I have a lot from her. She's one of my favorite brands, so buckle in. I have quite a few of her minis, so I'll do those first. The first one being the mini nude palette. This is such a good go-to. Look at those dips in these two shades. I am obsessed with this palette. You'd have to pry this out of my hands. Then we have the mini gold. I just think this is a stunning palette. I love the greens in it. It's perfect for the holidays. We have the mini Leela. Honestly, I don't reach for this one very often. And when I do, I only reach for these two, but I just like can't let go of it quite yet and declutter it. Maybe one day. Then we have the mini retro, another really beautiful palette. I love the color story on this. And the, these two shades are just chef's kiss. Then we have the mini glam. I really don't reach for this one very often because I'm just going to reach for the glam palette, but it's a good little neutral color story. And the newest one to me is the mini Zendo. I haven't had a chance to play with this too many times, but when I play with it, I like my looks. We also have the glam face palette. I know this has um, a uh, blush and a highlight, but I wanted to include it because of the five eyeshadows. You guys, these eyeshadows are her best quality. These mattes are absolutely insane. And these shimmers are some of the most reflective shimmers I've ever used on my eyes. I wish she would come out with this quality in other palettes. Then we have the Glam palette. This is her midi size. The next couple are her midi sizes. I love this palette. I love this palette so much. It's so good. Such a good neutral go-to palette for any occasion. Then we have the Sunrise palette. This was her first midi she ever came out with. Not the best quality, I will admit that, but a beautiful color story nonetheless. And last but not least, we have the Love palette. Oh my goodness, I love the Love palette. I feel like I say that every time I talk about this palette, but it's just a beautiful, just warm tone, pinky, lovely palette. I'm, I love it. Then we have one here from Odin's Eye. This is their Soul Main or Soul Mon 2 palette. It's a really nice, beautiful, colorful color story. I haven't reached for this too many times, but when I reach for it, I like my looks. It's a good quality palette. Next up, we have Pat McGrath, another brand that I have quite a few from. So buckle in. <laughs> the first one being, this is her, um, I don't even know, Celestial Divinity Luxe Quad in the shade Interstellar Icon. So this, I honestly got this sent to me from a friend, so I, I don't even think I've used it quite yet, unfortunately, but these shimmers look really pretty. I think this looks like good quality. Then we have the Celestial Divinity Luxe Quad in the shade Risque Rose. I don't think this one is available anymore. I will say the one time I used it, this shade got pretty patchy on me. Again, this was sent in friend mail, but it's a really pretty palette. This last one was also sent to me in friend mail. I don't, it doesn't have the name on the back and I can't remember, but it's the one with all the special shades, the really super colorful one that came out a couple years ago. These colors are stunning. And then last of the quads, we have the Venus and Fleur's Luxe Quad in the shade Voyeuristic Vixen. I actually, can I open it? I actually really like this. I think this shade gets a little patchy, but these three are really beautiful. This one's a little chunky, but beautiful nonetheless. Then we have the two Bridgerton palettes. This one is the first one, the Mothership Diamond of the First Water. This is definitely my favorite of the two. I love this palette so much. The mattes are beautiful, the shimmers, just everything about this is stunning. Then we have the Mothership Belle of the Ball. This isn't like a bad palette by any means. I just definitely like the first one more, 
but this special shade is really pretty. So I'm glad I have this. Then we have quite a few motherships. I'm not really sure what they are. I'm just going to open them up and hopefully I know the names. The first one is, oh, the newest one right here. So this is Moonlit Seduction, the newest one that she just released. Um, I like this. I've only used it a couple times, but it is really beautiful. Then we have Midnight Sun, another beautiful one. These two special shades. Oh, so is this one. Oh, absolutely stunning. I love this palette. Then we have Subliminal right here. This is the first one that she ever released. I am a sucker for these cool tone shades. Then we have Divine Rose 2. This is definitely not my favorite, unfortunately, but it is really pretty. This one right here is Bronze Seduction. Another one I don't reach for too, too much, but it is really pretty. I like these two special shades a lot though, and this one. So definitely need to reach for this more. And last but not least, we have Divine Rose 1. This is probably one of my favorites. Not my tip top, but one of my favorites. And this special shade is just one of the prettiest. So love this one. Then I have both of her mega palettes that she's been releasing for a holiday. The first one being Celestial Divinity. I've talked about this on my channel before. I don't love this one. The color story is a little wonky to me, and it's hard for me to make looks with it. But the quality is there. I definitely prefer this one, which is Celestial Odyssey. This was the second um, holiday palette she released. This one is way better in my humble opinion. I like the packaging more. I like the color story more and just everything about it. This is stunning to me. Then we have good old Patrick Ta. I've been really lucky that both of these have been um, sent to me in PR, but I would have purchased both of them if I'm being honest. This is his Major Dimensions Volume 1 palette. It's really nice and beautiful and neutral toned. I love this, but my favorite of the two is definitely the Major Dimensions 2 Rose palette. Oh my goodness gracious. This is probably on track to be my favorite palette of the year. You're definitely gonna have to tune into December when I do my palette ranking, but I'm obsessed with this palette, obsessed. Every time I use it, it's, I'm just blown away. One of my favorites ever. Then we have this one right here from Pixie. This is their Eye Reflection Shadow Palette in Natural Beauty. I got this a couple years ago in PR and I absolutely love this palette, but I will say since I've gotten this one, I've gotten other Pixie palettes and they're not as good as quality. So. Not sure what's going on there, but this one's bomb. Then I have the Pure Raw Beauty Christie palette that came out a couple years ago. It's got one side that's super, super colorful that I really don't use very much, and then another side that's really a uh, neutral tone. I definitely use this side more. Um, I'm impressed with this. I just don't reach for it as much as I should. Then we have these two from Shop Miss A. This is their AOA Studio palettes, the Flower Child and the Fairy Garden. I was actually pretty impressed by these palettes right here, especially for the price tag. They're only a couple dollars. So if you're balling on a budget, I would definitely check out Shop Miss A and their little quads because they're pretty good quality. Then I have two from Sigma, the first one being the Enchanted palette. This one was sent to me in friend mail from Kirsten's Makeup Vanity. She was super sweet and sent this to me because she knew that I wanted to try it and she had it in her collection and wasn't using it. Not my favorite palette, I'm not gonna lie, but I definitely think I need to use it a little bit more to fully for my thoughts. And then one of my newer palettes to me is their new Mod palette. I actually really wanted this when it first launched, but I told myself to wait for a sale because Sigma always has sales, and that's exactly what I did. I got this baby like 40% off here recently. Um, obviously, I haven't had a chance to try it out quite yet. I've just been getting, I honestly have been slowing down buying makeup, but I've been getting quite a few eyeshadow palettes in PR that I've been testing out. So I will definitely give this one a go soon, but I'm excited because this color story, oh, Stunning. Then we have this one from So Susan Cosmetics. This was sent to me in PR a couple years ago. I think I'm going to declutter this in my next eyeshadow palette declutter. I had been keeping it around because they're really pretty shades, but I feel like I used it here recently and I wasn't as impressed with the shimmers as I thought it was. Then we have a couple from Sydney Grace, the first one being their Enduring Love palette, one of my favorite palettes ever. Their mattes are to die for, their shimmers are to die for. I love the Sydney Grace formulation and this color story is beautiful. Then we have the stunning Tiny Marvels palette that was in collaboration with the beautiful Mel Thompson. This palette is something special, like truly Mel did an amazing job with this. I'm so glad that we have a piece of her to keep using now that she has unfortunately passed away, but this palette is, oh my gosh, like one of my favorites ever. I have this one right here from the brand True Luscious. This is their Flora Furosia palette. I probably butchered that. I use this once or twice. I like it, but the color story is honestly a little wonky to me. It's kind of hard to create a look, but it was good uh, formulation. Surprisingly, I only have one Urban Decay palette, which is the Naked Honey palette. I don't love this one, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like all the tones look pretty similar on my eyes. Like all the mattes look the same and all the shimmers end up looking the same on my eyes when I use it, but it's good quality. I like the looks I make, they're just not different at all but I'm not gonna declutter it. Only two more brands left. The first one being this one right here from Viseart. This is their uh, Petite 
4's Lila's palette. I like this. I've only used it once, but it's a cute little cool tone palette, and these shimmers are really pretty. Also from Viseart, we have the Cashmere palette. This one is not a favorite, but I actually do enjoy it. I think it's pretty. It's nice for work and like everyday sort of tones. Just the mattes are a little confusing to me because they're all pretty dark except for this one, but the shimmers are stunning. And last but certainly not least, we have the What's Up Beauty Geodes palette. This was recently sent to me in PR, and I tried it out in a uh, Get Ready With Me, and I was really, really impressed by the quality. The mattes are nice, and the shimmers are super pretty. So I'm excited to keep testing this baby out. <sighs> That was it, you guys. That was my eyeshadow palette collection. Oh my gosh. I am tired. I need a snack. My back hurts. I need to drink some water. <laughs> this was uh, quite quite the um, video for me to film, pulling them all out, alphabetizing them, sorting them, all of that. So I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed it. Again, this was not meant to be braggy at all. I just kind of wanted to show you what was in my collection. Let me know down below in the comments which of these palettes you own, because if I had to guess, we would have quite a few um, overlapping palettes. Also, wish me luck trying to put these all back away. <laughs> if you made it to the end of this video though, thank you so much, you're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.